Bichos, Bichos, Bichos have been around for some time now. They are veterans in the world of dream pop music. Despite being obviously influenced by many artists that came before them, you could look at acts like Cock Twins, you could look at acts like My Bloody Valentine, you could look at acts like many other classic dream pop acts that uh, are escaping my mind right now, but there are many of them, many shoegaze acts as well. But of course, Beach House. Beach House are a more modernized version of those artists. They've had the indie credibility for quite some time, and I think they have a bit of crossover appeal as well to your casual listener. Even though they aren't massive, I just feel like a lot of people these days that are looking for like vibey music would definitely get a lot out of them. But you know, the people that know them know how good they can be. I have always said Teen Dream is their best. I adore that album. I adore the album front to back. But Bloom is now pretty much around about 10 years old and it needed to be talked about. Just to uh, sort of preface this, it is my second favourite Beach House album as of right now. But it seemed like a good time to talk about this album as a decade later video, considering they have a new album on the way and they've been releasing it in staggered stages um, uh, that I haven't personally been as eager to check out each particular EP going into the release of each one. I'm just going to listen to it all when it drops. But that album is set to be something interesting. I think they could uh, put out something truly great with that one and I'm looking forward to it. And why not talk about Bloom right now, right before the album drops in a few weeks. And as I say, second favorite album of theirs, I think is really good. I think this album contains some of their greatest tracks, some of their greatest cloudy, uh, shoegazy atmospheres that they've ever managed to conjure up. Just the insane amount of just uh, pure bliss listening to this is 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 to die for at times it's a really 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 good listen you can't deny myth can you you just can't deny it i mean it's already a great song and then that like pause and then the kind of like blast into the chorus i just love that the way the kind of the pace just kind of builds up i think that part is so so good and so effective as well the way they kind of just stop things and it just kind of go that switch up is unbelievable and i think it just goes to show that they can come up with creative ideas because a lot of these tracks follow a pretty standard beach house dream pop even formula but this track i feel like subverts your expectation with it with that one moment in the song and it's it's only one moment i mean you know it's a it's, it's leading into the chorus but that's that's an important moment man and when I say they're, you know, following a formula, I don't mean that as an attack on the group, the band, the, you know, the artists here. They're obviously very good at doing this. And to be fair, they've not always hit on some of their other albums doing this formula, I guess you could call it, as well anyway. So it's definitely not an attack on them to say that they're sticking to a sound that they're comfortable with. They're just really good at doing it. So it's impressive that they keep it going for as long as they do. But they do kind of like, you know, throw in little bits and bobs that feel like they're enough to differentiate the tracks. I think Lazuli, uh, Lazuli, Lazuli, I'm not entirely sure how exactly you say that. But um, I, I, I adore this one as well. I think the striking melody that it starts out with I adore that. I, I think that sounds so good. And I love how on this album and some of their other tracks, they start with like one thing, the one instrument, the one idea, and it's just isolated on its own. And they do it a few times on this album. This is one of the best moments for that because that little melody that plays is so good. And then of course it builds into the more like, you know, reverby, heavy dream pop sound. Because of course you do have tracks like other people that just feel so heavy with the atmosphere. And there isn't exactly one particular melody standing out at any point, but you know, Lizuli has those moments which I really like. But one thing I like about uh, other people as well is that 
you can still hear the the vocal melody peering through it's almost like it's got its heads like a head like pointing through just like hello i'm here <laughs> whereas everything else is going on around it but you can hear you can hear victoria man she is sounding lush there's so many like of those you know chef's kiss moments on the album where they just create such a beautiful sound while also doing a lot with their sound as well like the the sound is album is huge it's expansive as hell but you still catch those gorgeous beautiful sounds droney reverb lingering on the track new year the romantic melody that pops up on the hours as well this sounds like something you could play at a wedding which i know probably sounds a bit cliche for some music nerd to say but I don't know, there's something really, really romantic sounding about this track. I like how committed to the theme of New Year they are as well, where she keeps saying, I'll keep these promises. But you know that they probably didn't. She probably wrote this on like December 27th. And the promise was, was that she'd like start going to Zumba or something. And I bet she never did. You know how New Year and New Me goes. You know how it goes. People don't stick to it. You didn't stop eating chocolate. Speaking of those isolated moments I was speaking of, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of earlier, I love On The Sea, the piano, the piano, my friends on this one is stunning. Oh, yes. And it actually reminds me a little bit, well, a lot of actually, something that would appear on um, Perfume Genius's Learning which is a very specific sounding album. I feel like Perfume Genius did something on that album that not many artists have really ever been able to create, um, which is obviously big praise, but he does a really cool job on that album. But the piano melody on this one, it, it sounds quite a little bit like some of the tracks on the album, which is really cool to hear on a Beach House track. I mean, these two artists aren't even remotely the same. I, of course, want to talk about the track Irene as well. That is also a don't know. The uh, line that repeats, it'll go um, off to paradise over and over again. Really love the way that's kind of like fleeting off into the wilderness. Like her voice just kind of like travels in the mix of all the of all the gusty wind. I, I really like how that 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 atmosphere is created in that moment. It's a strange paradise. I think I misspoke there with what the line I was talking about. You know what I mean. You know what I mean? But one of the things I like about this track is that there's a hidden track. There's a hidden track, guys. Talk about talk about 2003 coming back. They had a hidden track on their album in 2012. I, I can't think of many albums that did post 2010. Like, I thought that was a 2000s thing that we killed off. Maybe, like, maybe it stuck out for a few years into the 2010s, you know, where CDs were still, still getting some some sales so you know beach house like you look you know there's gonna there's gonna be some people that buy our cds let's give them a hidden track i just love how that pops up on a 2012 album the hidden track as well is pretty nice to be fair but the one track i want to mention i mean i do think myth probably takes the cake takes the win the big win for best track on the album but wishes 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 strikes a really strange tone that's incredibly engaging and incredibly effective as well like i say strange in a positive way but it's just really odd how it comes about because there's something about this track that feels so magical but yet it also feels daunting like it feels pessimistic but it also also feels like ever 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 effervescent and it also feels hopeful but it also feels depressing like there's such a weird contrast of sounds coming to the front here and I can't quite pinpoint what emotion I'm supposed to feel but that's just how cool Beach House are at creating these kinds of tracks there's just nothing quite like it so even though you could easily say look they pale in comparison to their influences I think you'd be a fool to say that I think you would because I think Beach House have really set themselves apart from many other artists over the years and I think this is pretty great. I, I wasn't sure how I used to feel on this album, but um, having you know gone back to it recently, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm teetering more towards a great side. I think this actually could go toe to toe with Teen Dream, but I would still say Teen Dream is a little bit better. And I feel like tracks like Wishes just encapsulate everything they're able to achieve. They just create such a cool contrasting vibe that you can't ever quite pinpoint. And that is Beach House for you. And the new album coming out in a few weeks. Oh my God, I am excited. 
But yes, uh, thank you for watching. As always, thank you for listening to what I have to say. Tell me your thoughts in the comments as well. Hopefully you agree with me. If you disagree, also let me know. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you've stumbled upon this video just because you're such a big Beach House fan, I hope you have stumbled upon it. Please make sure you subscribe as well because there's lots more content on the way. Thank you for watching as always. Have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't already. I've just said that, but do subscribe and goodbye.